what, what about somebody that because I've seen this too, is that they, they want to pick up the phone and want to ask for help and stuff, but they also know that you're not a pro bono, right? So it's, right. I can't afford my taxes. So how in the world would I, you know, cause that can be extremely um, hopeless too, right? When you feel like right. I owe all these taxes, I need help very badly, but I don't have, you know, I don't have the wherewithal to pay somebody. And I'm not suggesting you offer any free services or something but how do you how do you, right. how do you handle that situation talking to somebody like should they, i mean is that true should they not call should they hesitate or is it no. you know hey that happens all the time and this is this is what we would do here's the thing first of all it, not reaching out for help is always the worst decision anybody can possibly make you know with with our cost it is an expense it is something where I mean, let's face it, we're all in business. We all have bills, right? And that's right. where the fee to us gets moved on through my business to cover paying for my team, you know, our all of our licenses that we have to have for our software, et cetera, et cetera. However, we, we know that our clients are coming to us with financial conditions that are very unstable. Sometimes um, they're trying to get their business operating back in the black and they see it as another expense. I've had so many people come to us and say, well, why don't I just take the money I would pay you and pay the IRS? Because that's only just going to put a little chip at it versus get you, getting you to a solution. Right. Um, and you and, have to do a solution, right? Because you talk, there's a relationship, right. there's a loyalty. So you have to deal with that stuff up front, right? I mean, that right. could be part right. of, that's part of the, you know, we have to face everything. I was, you know, fear to me stands for face everything and recover. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the acronym. I like to think of it. And it's yes, you know, I, I will have to be paid for my services, but you know, that's right. something I get to flush out because I need to pursue this to the end. I don't want to be stopping in the middle. Right. So we need to flush right. all that out in the beginning. So there's really no risk in having that conversation right up front. Right. Certainly better. Right. Than <laughs> right. And then, you know, for our fees, we always work with our clients over, um, usually the, the resolution we have mapped out goes six or 12 months, um, you know, depending on how much is going on in the resolution, it may go longer, yeah. but we always try to work with our clients on a monthly figure to pay towards our, our costs that will work for them. Um, you know, it's for an offer and compromise for a corporation where there are two or three trust fund assessments to individual accounts. I mean, my gosh, that could be 50 or $60,000 in fees, um, you know, over a two or three year time frame. Right. For individuals with an installment agreement or trying to do an offer and compromise, the, the fee could range from five to $8,000. It just right. depends on each case and, and the unique circumstances, yeah. but whatever it may be, you know, we always try to work with, with our clients on a figure that will cover the expenses as we're doing the work. 